Hi guys, JP from FSI panel. On that video, I will show you another trap that you can find on the 737. I demonstrate that to my training in the simulator and it's very interesting and you will see that the documentation will not prevent you from falling into this trap if you not if you don't pay attention or if you do by mistake uh, something that you should not do. So let me demonstrate that to you. We departed uh, Geneva to Venice. Right now we are in the holding pattern in Venice, Italy uh, at the position Laren and we had an issue when we departed Geneva. Let me show you that. When we Once we departed we uh, bring the gear up and once we were doing the after landing flow unfortunately the landing gear lever was jammed in the up position. We were not able to move it to the off position. So that's something that can happen on the 737 and for that we have a QRH the QRH is landing gear lever jammed in the up position. So we cannot move the, um, the lever to the uh, down position, nor in the off position. It didn't prevent us to fly to Geneva because your gear is up, you have no penalty in terms of performance. So we flew all the way to Venice, for example, and now we are in the holding pattern to do the QRH because the QRH has some very important point. So let's bring up the QRH just to uh, give you a summar uh, summary of what is happening right now. We are in the holding pattern, as you can see, in Laren. Approach briefing is done, the IRS frequency is set, and now we are just running the QRH before starting this approach. So let's have a look at this QRH. All right, so that's the landing gear lever jammed in the up position. The condition, as you can see, the landing gear lever will not move from the up position. It's completely stuck. So now there is a note that says start this checklist only when ready to extend the gear for landing. So this is what we are doing. We are on final here at position Laren. So we are ready to start that checklist. Once the gear is extended, do not retract. That's clear. Then we have the uh, landing gear, as you can see, restriction to 70 knots or Mach 82. And then what we have to do, the landing gear override trigger pull that's that little trigger right there pull and then we should basically lower the gear but now we have this malfunction that i cannot unfortunately simulate with the pmdg so you try to pull on that handle and you try to move your gear lever but it doesn't move so here you can see on point two it says landing gear lever down now choose one. Landing gear lever moves to the down position. That's not the case. We are still in the up position. So the next thing is landing gear lever does not move to the down position. Go to step six. So this is what we will do now. Step six. There is a very important point here. Nose wheel steering switch verify normal. All right. So your nose wheel steering switch is right there. So it's very important that it is in the normal position. As you can see, it is in the normal position. When it's locked, it's in normal position. In some case, when you have some hydraulic failures, you will go to alternate. Right now, we are in normal position. If you go to alternate, or if you were in alternate now, you have a re very risky situation because when you land and you have the gear handle up, then moving that switch to alternate might, in fact, raise the landing gear. And that will disregard your weight on wheel switch. So you have to be very careful with that. And there will be several reminder in the checklist telling you to make sure it's in the normal position. All right, so the step six is done. We are in the normal position. Perfect. Let's continue the checklist. Now, as you can see, again, a big warning here. Do not use alternate nose wheel steering. That's it, because the landing gear may retract on ground. And now manual gear extension handles pull. The up lock is released, and then the gear will drop by gravity and let's see what happened here so what they want us to do now is to use the uh, alternate gear extension so let's do that here we are in the holding pattern so we have a look at our handle right there we open the door and once at one at a time we are going to pull here the handles and you will see that the gear in transit the doors are open if you look outside, we can see the landing gear dropping by gravity. And now if we're in the cockpit, we have the three green indication right there. And if we go, if we look up as well, let me find out here. 
we have the three greens. So if these three greens are okay and you're missing a three green, a green light, sorry, right there, you are still clear to go. We have the landing gear considered as done and locked. All right, so let's continue our checklist. So we have done point number seven, the up lock is released. And then we have the landing gear light illuminated and the landing gear lever is in there. Now we have a note. With the landing gear lever in the up or off position, so we are still in up position, the red landing gear indicator light will stay illuminated. So we can see that they are illuminated. Everything is correct. Now check the landing gear indicator light. If a green landing gear indicator light is illuminated on either the center main panel or the overhead panel, the related landing gear is done and locked. So basically, as I told you before, if you will be missing one light right there, but if you look up, you have this light on, green, that means the landing gear is done and locked. So we could continue. Now, point nine, choose one. All landing gear indicates down and locked. That's the case, right? We have all the landing gear down and locked. So go to step 10. So then the step 10 says checklist completed except different items. So basically now we have the gear down and we will be ready to start the approach. The different item, we're going to have a couple of things. Let's have a look right there. We have the additional different items. So what we have to do here is to make sure we go with the ground proximity warning switch for the landing gear to inhibit. So if we go right there, we have the gear inhibit and we're just going to inhibit that so we are not getting the warning, the uh, oral warning for the landing gear during the approach because of the lights. Okay, so this is done. The only thing we have to do now is the approach and you will see the landing checklist. So we'll do that later on. So let's start the approach. We are approaching Laren. I will select heading. I will arm approach. ATC give us the clearance. We are clean. So we have all locked capture glass low palm. Everything looks good and I will talk about the trap. Right now everything looks perfect. You see that we are flying nicely. We have the landing gear down, but the landing gear lever is up. That's the abnormal situation that we are facing right now. And the only thing we have to do is to clean up to, sorry, to uh, configure the aircraft for landing, do the uh, landing checklist, and I will show you what is the risk on this checklist. All right, let's go flaps one. And once we go flaps one, we will bug one. Perfect. Now we have flaps one, waiting for the green light. Flaps one, green light. Let's go flaps five, bug five. Gear down is already there. So the next step will be flaps 15. So speed check, flaps 15. Once we do that, don't forget your actions. And on the speed brake. Perfect. Now we can go flaps 30 and we set the V approach, which is 150 in our case. Let's do the landing checklist now. So we take again the QRH for that as we are now, we have a malfunction, so we always take the QRH and we look at the landing checklist. So engine start switches, continuous, continuous. Speed brake is armed. Then landing gear down three greens and flaps 30 green light. Note, nose wheel steering is not available. So that's one thing important to remember. And the second thing, warning, do not use alternate nose wheel steering again, because the landing gear might retract on ground. Perfect, so our landing checklist is completed. As you can see, the approach is a little bit bumpy. And what is very important now, I want to talk about this possible trap. Now we are all good. The aircraft is fully configured. We have a very nice weather. Everything is set for a perfect landing. One thing, we have no nose wheel steering. That's not a problem. We stop on the runway, then we ask for a, a tow and the aircraft will be towed to the parking position. Not a big deal. Now, what is the problem? So now we have this door nicely open, as you can see, and it's bumpy. This is just a small aluminum door or metal door, which is open like this, hanging up. 
And sometimes you see people, they have a tendency to close it. They said, okay, we did, we did landing checklist, everything is fine, let's close that door. It's like hanging up here, open. The checklist never tells you to keep that door open, right? It doesn't say keep the door open. Now you might have somebody sitting here on the jump seat with his foot, right foot, very close to that beautiful door. You can have a, a bottle of water from the first officer or the captain. So this door is hanging up here open and we are flying this approach. You can see right now we are 1,600 feet descending. Everything is perfect and it's still very bumpy. Now what can happen at any time? And this is what I showed a guy. You hit that door with, the, you, you, with your foot. Let's say the guy on the jump seat hit that door or it's bumpy and that door just closed, which can happen. And now what do you think is going to happen? We have an oral warning that we cannot silence. And the reason is simply that our gear went up. So what happened guys here? We had that malfunction during our takeoff in Geneva. We flew to Venice. We did the whole courage together and we flew the approach. Now that is what is missing in that courage and that can be very tricky you're coming down and you're here we did the, i show you i did the demonstration at 1500 feet agl i think so we had plenty of time to react imagine you hit that door at 50 feet or at 100 feet when you are going down and now that door closes then you will you will land the airplane with the gear going up and that will be a disaster all right, so my advice, guys, if you have this kind of situation, the door is open, you've done your checklist. Here, just make sure that stays open. I did, my, I, I told the guys in the simulator, put your bag right there or anything you have right there in this area. So the door cannot close. You have the uh, sensor right here. So if that door slam down, your gear will move up if the gear handle is in the up position. If you manage to put it in the off position, but it cannot go down, it's the same checklist, but now you have it in the off position. So now if the door closes, you will not have a gear up because the gear up command is not sent from the gear lever. So this applies when the gear lever is, is jammed in the up position and will not move from here. So this is a really tricky situation. So in that case, make sure you put anything you want here. Put your FCOM, put, put your bag, anything you want right there. So that cannot close and you'll be safe. All right. Hope you enjoyed that quick uh, demonstration. Uh, as always, stay safe. Don't forget to, to subscribe to the channel and see you next time for another video. Bye bye.